presenting you today's topic meetings so the first question when we talk about meetings is are you a participant or are you the organizer is the meeting happening face to face or virtual so assumption as of now since we are living in covid era the assumption is we are meeting virtually um, so all whatever i'm going to discuss over a, over the next 30 minutes or so uh, the assumption is we are meeting in virtual space for a participant it's easier um you don't need to do much the only thing which you need to be worried about is are you going in the right meeting or not whether the organizer has called the right person or not so inquire about agenda in case you know the agenda um see whether you have all the information for this particular meeting um assumption is you are tasked with a lot of meetings because i know i've been in sapient or other organization my calendar used to be full so i wanted to see whether i could do my own task you know i should get some time in that full calendar so assumption is that you are very very busy um so can you delegate this meeting to somebody else is somebody available second um, do you really need to attend this meeting can you send some meeting notes to the person so that everything is taken care of so get that ask the organizer ask him or her call them up and sometimes it is it is important for you to attend the meeting but you may be required to give answers on somebody's else behalf or you may need somebody's else presence and show that those people are there in the participant list um in case a meeting is like 2 hours long ask the organizer can you join in between you know um to save on the time so is there any specific time you need to be present in that meeting or you, are you required all the time so get that clarification so that you save on you optimize on your time utilization let's talk about if you are an organizer you are the project manager you started off conducting a you know you tasked with a new project so you need to organize a lot of meetings so first of all while we plan for communication we plan for certain recurring meetings and certain ad hoc meetings um so while i plan for all these communication i see do i really need a face to face or you know a two way communication um who are the participant in these meetings is there any homework which these people needs to do what is the goal for each meeting so while we plan for all of that ensure that each meeting has a specific goal so um in a project there might be different type of meetings so few of them as i told you are recurring meetings things like what is the status what did you do yesterday what did you do today what is the plan for next week and things like that decision making meetings i'm going to walk you through later i have few slides on this and then issue or escalation meetings once in a while these kind of meetings are you know happy meetings wherein you giving rewards or awards to people you meeting for training happier meetings wherein feel good meetings or there are certain meetings which are idea generation meetings these are once in a while we need to do certain things differently i'm going to talk about that so each meeting each meeting falls through different phases of meeting so first one is prepare before the meeting i really need to prepare i'm the organizer i need to ensure that right participant are there in the meeting agenda is circulated and the data is prepared well before at the time of conduct the uh, meeting the ground rules are there people should come on time you know that should be one of the ground rule or any other ground rule which you want to implement so ensure that there are ground rules people are aware about them parking lot in case somebody is emotional or too attached to an issue or a sentiment or a topic let them vent for a while but after some point of time you really need to come in and say let's talk about this slightly later so have a parking lot in place be polite polite don't intervene i mean you, there are people who have come to your meeting um they have taken time to be part of your goal so be polite with them in case there are emotions which come into the picture deal with your emotion or somebody else's emotion um towards the end you need to wrap up the meeting do a recap uh, summarize the next step send a minutes of meeting um i have some shortcuts here or some tricks i'm going to show the template here 
Typically, for some of the meeting, you might not need a follow-up. So generally, there is another phase, you know, once we have done the meeting, we would get into follow-ups, wherein we declare that these are the next step, this is where we are, and um, if the next steps are not closed, we follow up with the right set of people. Uh, for recurring meeting, because we are meeting again and again, we do all of that here. All the follow-ups are happening in the conduct part of the things. But in case it's once in a while sort of a meeting, you need to have a separate follow-up because we met only once. So let's talk about status meetings. These are simple ones. You've been part of these status meetings. You've been conducting status meetings. Um, why do we do it? We need to see whether the work which is planned has been accomplished, how much is accomplished, issues, risk, and so on. So a typical question to ask in the status meeting is, um, what is the plan for today? What is the plan for tomorrow? What did you do yesterday? Are there any issues in completion? Are there any risk? And then we generally get into any other discussion, you know, holiday discussions and things like that. So this is a typical status meeting, 15 minutes or 20 minutes sort of uh, status meeting. One of the good thing which I have followed up in Sapient was uh, creating a status meeting board for my team. This is one of the good practice which Sapient follows, one of the organization. And what it does is it gives transparency to people. So let me walk you through this particular board. Um, this is weekly board, you know, I plan my work for the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we would have dates written here. So each Monday, I'm going to come to office and I'm going to wipe off the previous week's data and write the new data. Expectation is everybody is going to do the same by 11 a.m. 11 a.m. is the meeting time. So when we get into the meeting at 11, I would brief people as to what what is my plan for the Monday or Tuesday, whichever day I am, and what did I accomplish last week. So I plan for things. I tell them this is what it is. My team would also walk me through what they are doing. So in case I think they are eight hours and the person is busy only for two hours, I can put in certain notes here. Similarly, expect that your team member would also do the same. So I have had um, you know, times when my team member came and said, Kavita, you're not doing anything. Why don't you do this here? So this gives a lot of uh, coordination and um, the team feels part of one group. So implement it. This, is, uh, this can be achieved using a whiteboard on the uh, team war room, any desk, or you can use a software for this. Excel is one of the good tool to work or share, share the Excel or share SharePoint. Um, use this. This would give you a lot of visibility as to who's doing what. The other thing is um, whenever we get into this particular meeting, we talk about what did we do. So this was done and this is planned for to today. So let's say I'm sitting on Tuesday. This is how we're going to talk about um, and the other person would also say this is done and this is my plan for today or maybe this was not done. I plan to work on it today here. Um, so this is how um, normal status update goes. There would be issues also which would come into the picture. So um, a good way to practice issues or write down issues is have, an, um, have a issue... <laughs> Excel or in case you are meeting every day physically in the meeting um, have an issue board so a board would be typically would have these component or these columns called serial number issue date raised context owner next step any target date completion status and so on um, and any other remarks so you can have these kind of stuff the other thing which you can do is um, you can also instead of because we're living virtually right now we can have this in this excel itself now what it would help me with is 
whenever I need to be, um, you know, next meeting when I come in, we can look at all the open issue and discuss all of them one by one. So this will help me track all the issues in a very nice trackable fashion. So you can use this issue list. You can download it from the Goal 21 Days or LMS. Coming back. Um, so here in this case, how do I manage this side, this sort of meetings, you know, daily status update, etc. Um, ensure that I prepare. I prepare my board well. I would have my data to be complete. I expect all the team members to have their data completed before we get into the meeting. At the time of conduct, ensure there are ground rules. We used to have ground rules like, you know, everybody should come on time. If a person is not coming on time, we would have one uh, written there. So 11 a.m. people are there on the, and every day there is a different person who is coordinating the meeting. So um, maybe Monday this guy comes in, he coordinates. So this is the person who is standing at the door and writing down plus one, plus twos and so on. Second day, maybe team number two, team number two gonna be watching the door and writing down all the, fines here um, in case there are two people who talk together and they keep on doing that you might want to find both of them uh, whining in case you're not able to complete whatever target date which is given uh, an issue which is you are the owner for that remember if you are the owner for that and if the target date issue is not closed then also you could find that person so there are different ground rules which can be followed we used to have fines for most of the things so that we can go out for party at the end of the month. So we used to collect the fines and then go out for party as a team. So this built the relationship and good team spirit as well. Um, the other good thing which we used to do in Sapient was we used to have thumbs up and thumbs down, those kind of signals. Um, how are you feeling towards the start? So people would used to say, you know, thumbs up thumbs down or okay so thumbs up is i'm fine i'm good i would i feel happy and i'm very excited to be part of this team and i'll complete my work thumbs down is not happy don't talk to me i am not in a good mood and okay is i'm fine let me do my work so um, that way you get a sense of how are how is the people moral and in your team and you as a manager can ensure that you know, next time you bring some patties or some kind of donuts to your team and let them feel happier so um, get a sense of who's feeling what some ground rules parking lot as I told you earlier being polite work with emotions um, wrap up we don't need to really do formal wrap up here because this is a team meeting 15 minutes we have done what did you do for what have you achieved yesterday what is your plan for today what are issues what are risk and then we say how are we feeling and then we say bye bye and then we come back again the next day and we discuss the same we don't do follow ups here we do follow ups here in the daily meeting or weekly meeting so this is how normal status meetings gonna go let's talk about another type of meeting called decision meetings now what are these meetings um, when you or your senior but person has to take a decision um, these are sprint planning meeting go no go meeting ccb meetings uh, sprint review meetings test results when you sit with a testing manager and review the results um, monthly review by senior management those kind of meetings now most of the time you are the organizer but somebody else would be taking the decision um, for your team. So prepare well. Here this phase is very important. You need to ensure that all the right stakeholders are there in the meeting. Block their calendar in advance. Share the agenda in advance. Remind them um, if required. Ensure that you have the data completeness uh, with you. All the data is there with you. CCB meeting, you don't want to get into a meeting without um, looking at the change analysis. So ensure that you have good data with you. At the time of conducting meeting, give an overview to people. Um, present the data. 
um, have a room to discuss, let people discuss things, um, there needs to be certain ground rules which are published before. For example, you should know what, what are decision-making criterias. So a decision-making criteria is senior manager making all the decision. Or you as a team going to make the decision for what goes in current release. So what are those decision-making criteria? People should be aware about that. Um, parking lot and record whatever is being discussed. Because that is something which you really want to have, uh, you know, a record of. Wrap up, recap, what are the decisions which have been taken? Are there any next steps? And set up minutes of meeting. Now, as I told you, because in case these are monthly meetings, ensure that you have an Excel sort of floating document wherein you have all the next step for all your project uh, for those meetings. Otherwise, send a Word document with a predefined template. If required, do a follow up and ensure that you close the next steps. There are feel-good meetings as well. What are these meetings? So feel-good meetings are award meetings, trainings, um, some other meetings wherein just meet and greet and you feel happy. So have those meetings as well in your team. Um, how do you manage these um, meetings? So most of the time when there are feel-good meetings or trainings, you want to ensure there is food and activities nicely planned. The right set of participants should come in. Um, meeting rooms are booked or the uh, place is booked. Um, conduct, conduct, build enthusiasm, show that you are doing it, show trust, build rapport with your team, um, ensure that your team is involved, give them activities to work on. Wrap up, you really don't need to do a whole lot of wrap up, just praise people, close with a good pep speech, no need to follow up, so this goes out of window. Um, so this is how you do um, those kind of good happy meetings. Issue meetings are something which is going to take a whole lot of your time and these are one of the most complex sort of meetings. Whenever there is an issue, whenever there are feedbacks, whenever there are problems. Um, so these are meetings on feedback, um, appraisal meetings, escalations by the customer or escalation within the team, any urgent issue, those kind of meetings. Um, so how would you plan for these meetings? Prepare. Uh, prepare. Let's say there is an escalation which has come to you. Uh, prepare. Find out why this escalation, who is this person, context about that person context about the entire data of that particular issue, a customer has sent you an escalation. Understand from your team as to what is the problem, why this problem occurred. Be prepared. Um, I recently got into a meeting with um, one of the university dean and I really like this person's attitude because I, as a parent, my kid is in this university, so I get into an escalation meeting with the university asking them what are their campus hiring plans and so on. So Dean, who came on the meeting along with the other people, he said, Kavita, don't worry, I am on your side. I really need to know how can we together sort this particular issue and what is the issue in general. So have an open attitude, uh, talk about things. Uh, prepare and in case you're not prepared uh, ensure that right people are there in that meeting while we conduct the meeting ensure that introductions are done uh, you know one minute introduction in case you're talking to somebody else outside your team in case you're talking to your customer um, understand there are people from different location different context different geographies it makes whole lot of sense if we are meeting virtually to talk about talk your name and your role why are you here in this meeting that kind of uh, overview if the if the organizer does it that is nice if they don't you need to present yourself and uh, in case there are any expectation tell them loud have a discussion with the people be open um, be polite and there might be emotions which can come into the picture ensure that you deal with your emotion um, and how do you how do we deal with the emotions I'm going to talk about that in being mindful series 
next steps are logged with the owners and owners are informed about it within that meeting so that wrap up has to be really important send a minutes of meeting so that people are aware now my assumption is these escalation meetings are not um not recurring meeting these happens because somebody has somebody has raised an issue so ensure that all whatever you have written in the minutes of meeting on the target date you and this you follow with people and update the status and then send another meeting saying that this is what the status is um do we meet again or do we do what whatever you desire so that's how you going to manage the escalations or feedback or those kind of meetings okay this is something which i got from pmi in the new pmp uh syllabus so this is a whole lot of theory and so so i just wanted to cover it for you guys is and your meetings are appropriate distribute agenda um have a sense of urgency start meeting on time you guys know that review the agenda change if required let others speak take notes keep meeting discussion on topic otherwise use parking lot recap thanks everyone um at john on time distribute the meeting notes so this is pretty much whatever i've covered in the you know various phases of meeting I, but i just wanted to ensure that we cover this as well what about once in a lifetime meeting you know once in a six month or three month sort of meeting what are these meetings i don't know um, i've been project manager or product manager for a long time so just tell me what are those meetings um so few meetings which i know are new initiative meetings when we get into and we want to start a new initiative um people would be clueless as to what is the goal how do we start and things like that or ideas from scratch again a lot of people would be clueless we know what needs to be done how who's going to do what all of that would be vague so how do we go about doing these kind of meeting it becomes difficult because we have not been part of those meetings so what comes um, in my mind is that use certain tools uh, like six thinking hats if you don't know this please um, read the book by edward de, de bono this book is really good to help you structure your thought process um also one of the tool which i kind of liked and people use successful project manager use it a lot is pre consult and buying in especially for decision making um let me give an example sometimes people um, you know i am in escalation meeting and some senior guy decision making uh, meeting ccb board or something a person feel threatened or a person feel offended with whatever is happening or they don't like whatever happening in your project and they start shouting at you it can happen um so at that point of time you have no choice but to just listen into whatever this person and he might be right you know maybe i'm not doing good so in case you expect that there are certain outcome of, on your project which is not good or which is not as per the stakeholders liking reach out to them one day before two days before tell them this is what the minutes of meeting or the agenda looks like this is what you're going to be presenting and uh, in case he or she has any suggestion on the current issue which is there so this stakeholder senior person going to get involved in what is happening and they might give you suggestion on how to handle that put that as part of your meeting and people because they are aware about the topic in advance they would not be yelling at you within the meeting so get a pre consult done this is one of the very good method um i have learned that after a long time being uh, really got into bad meetings so if you can do that that would be really good for you um and anything else uh, i feel free to write in the comment section as 
how did you achieve good meetings i really want to learn from you guys so six thinking hats just to give you an overview um mr edward de bono said that you know whenever we get into some kind of meeting let's say it's an idea meeting um and we say why don't i stand for presidentship and you become my party you know some vague idea so a lot of people person one would start thinking positive about it and they start talking positive person two might start thinking negative about it and because everybody is different and they would talk negative so what's going to happen is there is an idea criss cross so rather than that, that we do a structured thinking we say okay for the first phase of the meeting we going to be only doing white white is all the information so let me talk about why i decided this what is the background what is the current data what is the chances to be and so on so first phase is white wherein the information is given the second phase is you can decide as a project manager or meeting organizer that what can go wrong here so let people talk about all the wrong things which can happen so we are a different hat what can go good about this so we are a different hat and then let people talk good things about it maybe you can we are a creative hat so whatever is the wrong can we outcome outgrown that and that's how we can we are different hat in a meeting to achieve some kind of consensus within the team so this is one of the sequence in a meeting which is for idea generation meeting um facilitator talk about thing he would talk about the problem uh, present the fact of the matter white hat generate ideas green hat um evaluate the merits list benefit yellow hat draw drawbacks black hat and what is the gut feeling everybody has you know red red flag it it has a problem but i feel so red hat is i feel we going to succeed you know what does your gut say about it um and then summarize everything which is blue hat so this could be one of the sequence of conducting a meeting there could be other sequences for different type of meeting so you can use it for status meeting or for escalation meetings or for see there are different meetings which have been put up solving problem performance review and so on so you can use various sequences of the hats that's pretty much from me in case you have any question please send a mail to me at kavita@kavitasharma.net in case you want to enroll for these kind of trainings you can reach out at kavitasharma.net website and see what is available thank you and thank you for listening in to me and have a very nice day bye bye